So today I am kiss testing lip products from NYX Cosmetics. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Ah! Yeah! I am testing Soft Matte Lip Cream, NYX Liquid Suede Metallic Matte, The Shine Loud, Two Step, The Lingerie Push Up, Two Epic Ink Lip Dyes, Glitter Goals, Line and Load, Powder Puff Lippy, Love Out Loud, Shimmer Down Lip Veil, Electro Brights Matte Lip Cream, Machinist, which is kind of like a steampunk style lippy, NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. And I'm going to include this because sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself. I am doing a kiss test with a lid lingerie. I did this before I owned any lip lingeries. Um, the packaging is a little thicker, but I didn't know that at the time. Otherwise, it's exactly the same, except it says lid right here instead of lip, like one letter difference. So it's not recommended to put this on your lips, but I did it, so I will show you that video. I got all these lipsticks from the nyxcosmetics.ca website. If you'd like 20% off that website, check out my link in the description. The reason I wanted to do this video is because in my last video, I tried the NYX Lip Lingerie, the original formula, and it performed really well. If you'd like to win a Diamond and Ice Matte Lip Trio, check out the last video I did. I am doing a giveaway for the month of May. You just have to be subscribed and then you comment on my last video. And this lipstick isn't actually advertised as being transfer resistant. Um, a lot of their matte lipsticks perform really well. I would say just as well as other lip products that have transfer proof or transfer resistant in their claims. So first, let's go over the lipsticks that did well, and then we'll go over the ones that did not so well. This is NYX Cosmetics Glitter Goals in the shade Alienated. Mm. It's not past. I don't see anything. Let's try again. Mm. Oh, that time it left a mark. Can you see that? Yes. That's pretty good. Mm. Pass. Uh, mm. Right there. That's mm. pretty good for a lipstick that doesn't advertise as transfer proof. Very slight transfer. Mwah. Nothing. Mwah. I also have to add this comes off really easy for something that I was able to smush my face into him, like just with a makeup wipe. Um, I usually use coconut oil as well, but it just came off with a makeup wipe. Actually, not advertised as transfer proof, but it is advertised as waterproof. And then I was wearing it and it seems like it's transfer proof. Now, the kiss on the hand, for some reason, <laughs> doesn't always mean it's not gonna transfer on the baby. Maybe the baby's skin is softer. I don't know. Um, the reason I got this is because of the color. I really like the color and it's called Biker Babe. Um, I'm not a biker babe, but my husband rides a motorcycle. And I just, I just like lipsticks of cute names, like names that make me smile. That'll definitely make me buy it. So uh, anyone that markets, all you people working at lipstick companies, make sure they have cool names or cute names or just funny names. Um, yeah, that, that for sure will make me buy it if I'm trying to decide which one to buy. So, it will leave, if you kiss them three times, it will leave a very slight line. I don't know if you can see it. 
así. Nothing on him. Pass. So I got another epic lip dye in this shade Charmer. Um, to me, the reds are like almost the same. The Charmer is on top, and the other one is on the bottom, poised. Charmer is a little bit more of a berry red, but <laughs> and that one passed. It's very slight, you can barely see it. I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera. Oh, maybe you can right there. But, um, yeah. See right here, the lip. So it definitely fails. But it doesn't really transfer on the hand. It does pretty well. I do really like this shade, but <laughs> it's a lot lighter than what it looks like in the package. Mm. Oh, it does transfer a little bit. So this is the line and load girl please color. And it's colored plastic too, but it's way closer than this one. Um, and if you look, bottom one is lighter, more neon. That's the electro, right? And then this one. Mm. Oh, transfers a little bit. Now let's go over the ones that didn't do so well. Oh, well, well. Your cheeks are really red from mm -hmm. teething. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, it transfers. Some didn't even pass a hand test. The Shimmer Down Lip Veil, I was hoping this was going to be a copy of the KVD Beauty Glimmer Lip Veil. Um, I did a video on that product and I really liked it, but it wasn't the same at all. And the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I'm not surprised that this didn't do well. It is a cream lipstick, but the Metallic Matte did so well, I just wanted to try it. So on their website, the only two lipsticks that have transfer proof or transfer resistant in their claims, I think, is the Shine Loud. I'm wearing the lead or lead everything right now. And the NYX Lingerie Double XL. This is a new formula. I will be testing this lipstick in another video. I just got it. I tried one and I have to say it worked really well. It is contending to be my favorite lipstick. I just need to try the other shades. So NYX is a cruelty-free brand and some formulas are vegan. I forgot to mention in my last video that the NYX Lingerie is a vegan formula. Again, if you'd like to win a new package of the Diamond and Ice Matte Lip Trio, check out my last video. Vegan formulas in this video include Powder Puff Lippy, Lingerie Push Up, the Epic Inks, and the Glitter Goals. For more information on which formulas are vegan and which ones aren't, check out their website. Again, if you'd like 20% off that website, check out my link in the description. So my two favorites of the ones I tried today definitely are the Love Out Loud and the Glitter Goals. The Glitter Goals shade I have is Alienated. I did another video, I think it was a Lip Monthly review, where I wore this 
for the whole video. So if you'd like to take a longer look at that shade, check that out. And the Love Out Loud, the shade I tried was Brave. I just love the way this looked, really comfortable, really hugged the lips. I'm not sure if this is discontinued or what. It does look sold out on their website, but if you can pick this up somewhere, try it. Another one I really liked was the Line and Load. I really liked how you outline your lips and then fill it in. If I didn't have so many lipsticks, I would definitely buy more of these. Another thing to mention is these Epic Ink lip dyes. Um, these are the only lipsticks that I've ever tried that pass the baby kiss test, but transfer on like everything else and wear off really easily. So I don't know how that's possible, but I wouldn't recommend these because just regular wear, they wear off really easily. And the Shine Loud. Um, now me personally, I don't like two steps because one, I don't like the extra step. And two, the gloss or balm or whatever the second step is, tends to transfer. And especially when it comes to kissing my son, I don't want to get anything on him. So I knew I wasn't gonna like these because of that, but I bought them anyways, basically because I fell prey to the TikTok advertising. Like TikTok made them look so good. Um, not sure I would wear them under a mask because I don't want the gloss to get everywhere. I do like the pink color that I'm wearing right now. I do find these very hit or miss. They claim to be 16 hour no transfer wear. And sometimes they do last a long time. And then the other times, like I wore this pink one, let lead everything the other day and it wore off within a couple hours. I feel like there's other lipsticks that perform better, but if you are looking for a long lasting lipstick that does give you that shine, these would be the ones for you. So that's my video for today. If you liked it, please hit subscribe. If you'd like to win a Diamond and Ice Matte Lip Trio, check out my last video. And stay tuned, I will be doing a review on the NYX Lingerie Double XL. Oh, sweeties. You want to be part of the show?